Hey Crossword fans, today we're going to be solving the New Yorker crossword for Friday, February 5th, 2021. And this is a, light, a lightly challenging puzzle, so if you're just starting out with crosswords, this is the perfect one for you. All right, let's get started. One across bulbous airship? Hmm, that's like a dirigible or a blimp. Yeah, blimp is good there. Deli sandwich acronym, that's a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. I've had really good tempeh bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches. Installed as tile. I think the verb used when you're installing tile is laying in, so it would be laid in the past tense because the clue is in the past tense. Installed, the answer has to be past tense also. Dot on a map. Hmm. Dots on a map are usually cities, aren't they? Hmm. Hair removal option. I know there's laser hair removal. Maybe a dot on a map is an island or an isle? That could be. Mythological figure with looks that could kill. Yeah, that's Medusa. Yeah, she's pretty cool. We just recently watched uh, Clash of the Titans and there's a cool scene with Perse Perseus and Medusa in it. It makes perfect. Blank makes perfect. That's practice, right? That old saw. Practice makes perfect, yep. So what is this? Is this Tilda Swinton? Oh, it is. Yeah, look at that. Swinton who played Marianne in A Bigger Splash. I, I've never heard of this movie. I, I love Tilda Swinton though. She's great. She's she's in a lot of stuff, but she's always delightful when she shows up. 40 all in tennis. So when you're tied at 40 in tennis, I think they call that deuce. Yeah, tennis has a very strange scoring system. All right, part of the Little Dipper say, well, I guess the Little Dipper is a constellation and constellations are made up of stars, so that's what we want here. Less taxing, not as in income tax, but just taxing in as, taxing as in like stressful, that's gonna be easier. Arrange back into a bow, say. So whenever you get a clue that's like, make something into this again or do again, like, or back into, like it's, in this clue, it's, it's you're, you're redoing something. So those clues almost always want an answer that starts with re, like you're redoing something. So this I think is gonna be retie, because you tie a bow. Gave kudos to, kudos, yeah, that's praise. So this is just gonna be praise, praised, past tense, because this is past tense with gave. Shoes with a feline logo. That's Pumas. They've got a cat, a big cat logo. Horny beast. That's a that's a pretty cheeky clue. Um, a horny beast. So this this question mark indicates a wordplay clue. So that just means there's going to be some kind of punny answer to this question. Um, I think it's going to be just an animal with horns. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what this is going to be. It's not a ram. That's too short. Well, I'll be. These quotation marks just indicate this clue is just asking for an equivalent phrase to well, I'll be. So well, I'll be is something you, you just hear somebody say out loud and the answer will be an equivalent phrase you'd hear someone say. So this is just indicating surprise. So an equivalent phrase would be, huh? I think like, huh, I didn't know that. Um, okay, yeah, a horny beast is gonna be a rhino. Yeah, they have gigantic horns. All right, what to make while the sun shines per an old proverb, make hay while the sun shines. I say that all the time, I love that phrase. It just, it's so appropriate. <laughs> Whenever you get a good opportunity, you have to make hay while the sun shines. All right, let's take a look at this really long marquee answer here. Do my eyes deceive me? Okay, so this is another quote. It's another phrase that we're going to find an equivalent for. 
So it looks like it starts with am I. Maybe it's am I seeing things? Let's see if that fits. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Excellent. Yep. And, you know, it's nice to see this parallel. It has the word seeing in it and the, the clue has eyes in it. Yeah, that's a very nice one for one swap out here. Sudden pull. I guess that's a yank. Bed cover. Okay, we've got another wordplay clue, so. Hmm. What's another kind of bed? Because generally my strategy when I'm doing wordplay clues is I think about what the meaning of the clue is on its face, like most obvious reading of it, and then try and think of other meanings because it's almost never what it looks like on its face when it's a wordplay clue like this. So a bed cover, the first thing I would think of would be like a sheet that you would put on a, a bed that you'd sleep on. So now I'm gonna think about, well, what other kind of beds are there? And I think the first other kind of bed that comes to mind is like a flower bed. So something you could put on a flower bed would be soil. And that looks like that fits perfectly here. So I'm gonna put that in. Get out of Dodge. Okay, get out of Dodge means you're gonna like leave town, right? So I think the answer could be skip town, possibly. Milky coffee order, that's a latte. I don't really drink coffee, but my wife does. So I, I kind of got some coffee knowledge just through osmosis through her. Stop living in the blank. Stop living in the past. Mm -hmm. Fires off as an email. Another way to say you fired on a, off an email is you can say I shot off an email or shoot off an email. So this one's present tense. So you want the present tense version. Blank Beverly Hills, 1989 Shelley Long comedy. Hmm. I don't think I know this one. I know Shelley Long, but I don't think I've heard of this movie. Let's see if we can get it on crosses here. Has significance. Hmm. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not shoot because it should end in an S actually, because it's kind of like a present tense clue. So maybe this is just sends, fires off, sends, yeah. And then has significance could be matters. Yeah, it means something. Okay. Light body, dry wine. Hmm. I've had some of this before. I like this wine. I think this is Pinot Noir. Yeah. I think this is, if you've seen Sideways, that's the favorite wine of the main character in that movie. And as you can see, as I'm solving, I'm not jumping sequentially from um, clue to clue. I kind of build off of answers I've already entered in the grid, and I feel like that's a, a much easier way of making progress because you get a letter or two into a, an answer, and that really helps you um, hit on what the actual answer is. Spanish artist Juan or Joan? Mm, is it Miro, maybe? Juan Miro? I think that might be right. He was on the puzzle the other day as a contemporary of Hans Arp and Salvador Dali. So I think I remember his name from that. All over again. Hmm. You're repeating something. Huh. I wonder what that's going to be. Anything else? What else can you say if you want to be finished with something? Are we done? Looks like it fits nicely in there. Embellish as a resume. I guess you can say you pad your resume. Oh, look at this, a cross clue here. Like 57 across EG. So like Pinot Noir, for example, and Pinot Noir is a red wine. So we're just gonna be red here. Some pillow filling, uh, down. Don't like to see that. Should all be polyester at this point. All right, all over again, a new, yes, that's good. What is this, Troop Beverly Hills? Is this about like Girl Scouts or something? Had a lead foot, yeah, that's gonna be sped. You speed if you have a lead foot, right? 
Okay, I guess it's Troop Beverly Hills. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Okay, so, uh, wave function, this is in like mathematics, a mathematical wave can have a sign. It just means that it kind of oscillates up and down like this between one and negative one through zero like that. Okay, drab, hmm, that could be dingy, right? If you have a drab apartment, you you have a dingy apartment. Dot, dots on a map, it's cities, hey. I got my uh, cities answer after all. So we have isle and cities. One's plural and one's singular. That's nice. Genre with Jamaican roots. I think that's reggae. Mm -hmm. Goad into action. It's gonna be egg on. If you egg someone on, you're trying to get them to do something. Play areas. Okay, this is another wordplay clue. So maybe a play area on its face, I think just means like a playground for children. But another meaning of play is like um, a theater play. So a theaters uh, or a plays are performed on stages, right? So that fits nicely there. Place to strike a pose. Another wordplay clue. This is great. We've got a nice string of um, wordplay here. Place to strike a pose. I guess place to strike a pose would be like you, you think of photography, I think, first. Um, but this is starting to look like yoga here. So you in a yoga class, you're going to be on a yoga mat, striking all your poses. Amen. Uh, so amen is just you're like agreeing with someone, right? So another way to say amen to someone would be to shout here, here, right? And you're just, when you say here, here, you're just like kind of saying like, listen to this guy. Yep. Emperor during the great fire of Rome, Nero. Yeah. There's a uh, kind of classic phrase that said Nero fiddled while Rome burned, right? Yeah, that's what people know about him. Yeah, I just, I just watched a great video of um, kind of, of the fall of, about the fall of Rome on a, a YouTube channel called Fall of Civilizations Podcast. So if you're interested in um, kind of what was happening at the end of Rome, that, that he just released a video about the um, Eastern Roman Empire, and but it goes into a lot of the Western stuff and it's, it was very interesting. Okay, blank booster pep talk. So when you see a, a term in parentheses um, after a clue like this, that just means it's like giving you um, an idea of what this whole term is going to be. So this, when you get the blank filled in, will just mean a pep talk. So uh, a morale booster is another kind of pep way to say pep talk. Yeah. Blank. Okay. So when you see uh, a clue in brackets like this, um, it either is going to be a nonverbal action and then the answer is going to have to be a phrase that expresses that nonverbal action, or it's going to be the reverse. It'll be a phrase, and the answer is going to be an equivalent nonverbal action. So in this case, we have a phrase here in brackets. So the answer needs to be a nonverbal equivalent. So that's just going to be a shrug. And you could also, so you'd also maybe see this in reverse. Like, so if the clue was um, the word shrug in brackets, the answer could be who cares. Okay, blank riser. <laughs> this definitely doesn't describe me. This is gonna be an early riser. I am definitely more of a night owl. Okay, green growth in a pond. That's gonna be algae, um, plural of algae, I think. So that'll be alga, algae. Yeah, alga is the singular and algae is the plural, yeah. Woodwind music makers. I think in every woodwind instrument, the commonality is that they all use reeds as their mouthpieces. All right, so let's just double check these downs that we didn't look at the clues of here. Happy as a clam, glad, yeah, that looks good. What a nod usually indicates, that's a yes. Mm -hmm. Good. We didn't look at this either, did we? Deep desire and urge, yeah. Yeah, it looks like that corner's excellent shape here. All right, Ray, also called a devil fish. Hmm, I think that's maybe a manta ray. Yeah, those are really cool looking. All right, mental block. 
Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if this is angst. I never, I would, I don't think of angst as being a mental block, but I suppose if you're like really worried about something, it could be a mental block. Yeah. Let's see if that's right. Word after tube or tank. Uh oh. No. Is that right? They, yeah, I think we must have something wrong in here. Let's see if we can track down what it is. A deadly serpent is an asp. Right? That's like what bit Cleopatra. Hmm. I don't think it's the, I don't think teaspoon is right. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be tube top, right? So let's erase angst. I guess I was right that that wasn't quite right. So tube top. And then let's see if we can get this cross here. Queen Latifah's given name. Oh, I don't know this actually. Yeah, I don't know much beyond her kind of like popular music. Okay, Teamster's Truck. A Teamster is the name of the um, the workers union that um, drives vehicles. So Teamster, one type of Teamster would drive a semi truck. <laughs> well, the reason we got this wrong is because I misread the clue. I read it as mental block, but it's actually a metal block. So yeah, metal comes in ingots. Those are just the like the bars that you see out of a, a foundry. Like in, uh, if you see like uh, Fort Knox, the golden Fort Knox, those are all in ingots. Oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm glad it was just a misreading of the clue. Okay. Oh man, I guess maybe it's Lana. Maybe like the L is an indication of what started her actual name. Hmm. Or her given name. Oh, uh, maybe it's not though, because comprehensive nail treatment, when you think of if you go to like a, a spa and you get all of your nails done, that would be a manicure and a pedicure. So I think that would be Manny Petty. So it's Dana, interesting. All right. App with crowdsourced reviews. I guess that's Yelp. Yeah, it's where you go to find out all your neighborhood joints, how, how they uh, rate. Okay, quell, that means to just like lessen. Another word for that would be allay. Like I'll allay your concerns. Military attack. I don't know about this one. This could be a few different things, I think. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some crosses to help out here. Transcript stats. Well, the the clue is plural, so I think we can maybe safely put it in S at the end at least, even though I'm not sure what this is going to be. Maybe a transcript is your grades, right, in school, so maybe it's GPAs, grade point average. And the reason you can kind of guess that it might be an abbreviation like that is because in the clue, this word is abbreviated. It's stats instead of statistics. So usually when there's a, an abbreviation in a clue, the answer will be abbreviated also. So that's another way to kind of get a leg up on what the answer should be. Frustrated outburst. Hmm. It's not like a groan or something, is it? Blank twist. That'll be a plot twist. Those are always exciting. Unless they're spoiled. All right. Florida's official state reptile. I mean, it has to be an alligator, right? What else could it be? Um, okay, feet that's far more common on a mini golf course than a regular golf course. I imagine that's a hole in one. You don't see too many hole in ones on real golf courses, but if you're lucky, you can get one or two in uh, 18 holes at your local mini golf course. Okay, so I think the military attack is a siege. A lively comedy about a guy who isn't for weekend at Bernie's. That's pretty cute. That's a cute. I think that that's going to be a tagline. A lively comedy about who a guy who isn't lively, I guess, because he's dead. Now, the gag in Weekend at Bernie's is they're carting around a, a dead body for the entire movie. OK, uh, let's take a look at this underwater breathing apparatus. This is gills. Yep. And then this was ga. Interesting. Yeah, that's so casual. I, I, I kind of thought of that, but I thought it was like I was like, no, that's not enough of a thing to be on a crossword, but I guess it is. Okay, zillions, it just means tons and tons of something, so that could be a ton. 
Zilch is zero or none. Poetic before, that's air. Air I saw Elba. That's a nice little palindrome. I was able ere I saw Elba. What is the palindrome for that? Able was I ere I saw Elba? I think that's what it is. Yeah. Anyway, that's a kind of a famous palindrome that has the word the uh the word air in it. Mare's hair. Mane? Yeah, because a mare is a horse, right? They have manes. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for us. Excellent. Alright, yeah, that was a perfect example of a really nicely constructed um weekend New Yorker puzzle. Uh yeah, I hope um if you're just starting out with puzzles, I hope some of that info I gave you is going to be helpful for you solving your own puzzles. I think the trick to getting a handle on crosswords isn't actually a bunch of random trivia knowledge, but it is kind of understanding how the rules work. Um, and I think this puzzle was a good example of a good variety of different kind of tricks that constructors will use in, in their puzzles. And hopefully next time you take a stab at a crossword, you're going to have an easier time. All right, I think we've seen this comic before. See, Willie, that's the new. He used to be in a lot of crossword puzzles, but he's practically extinct now. Yeah, I think he was on the New York Times puzzle this this past week, so I wouldn't worry about the new too much. All right, featured answer, Medusa. Yeah, she's pretty cool. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this nice, easy weekend New Yorker puzzle with me. Uh, yeah, the next puzzle for the New Yorker, I, I've been skipping the midweek puzzle, so the next one will probably be the early week um, the early week New Yorker puzzle, which is actually the hardest of the week. So if you're looking for an easier puzzle solve for some more um, kind of basic crossword tips, uh, you're going to want to watch the early week New York Times puzzle. So that'll be Tuesday and Monday. And those are going to be coming up in just a couple of days. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.